we'll get this thing started up and move it inside. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> this video, I'm going to be replacing the fuel bowl and the fuel pressure regulator that's attached to it. The reason why I'm doing that is because I had fuel pressure problems where when the truck was coasting to a stop, fuel pressure would spike way up over 100 PSI. It also got to the point where my fuel pressure was completely erratic. One day it'd be really super low and then one day it'd be really high and it would just jump around. Let's go throw it into high idle. build that fuel pressure regulator but I decided to just replace the whole thing because I had a, a pipe plug where the fuel restriction sensor used to be and it had a small crack going uh, through the threads and I just wanted to replace the, the whole thing and start fresh. The plan for today is to work on my truck. It's a 1996 F350 with a 7.3 liter. I'm going to be changing this fuel filter housing, which has the fuel pressure regulator bolted to the side of it. Okay, so I'm going to take off this silly little cover now. So, first thing I gotta do is drain this fuel bowl. And I've got a pan down there, but it's probably gonna miss it completely. <sighs> gotta pull off these two lines in the front. Got a sensor here that's for my fuel pressure gauge in the truck. Got wiring harness connector there. I think that's a fuel return line. And then there are two down below this uh, intake Y pipe. So I guess what I'll start off with is just pulling out this uh, pipe here and, and we'll see what we got at the back. pipes out of the way you can see the fuel pump it's got this one short line going to the base here and then it has another one let's see if I can oh, just got one of these little things right in my thumb <laughs> so it's got another little hose at the bottom right there and this is the perfect time to replace those. One thing I forgot to mention is there's a hose right there at the bottom of this uh, drain valve, which just goes from the bottom of the valve itself to the drain tube right there. Here I'm just showing that I've got the uh, the two hoses loose, the one at the top of the pump and the one right at the very bottom. Now's the time to get those two mounting bolts off. They're 13 millimeter, and you can just uh, break them loose with a ratchet. Now you have those bolts out, you can lift up the fuel bowl, and you have access to unplug the IPR. 
So there's just the two little tabs, or you might have a metal clip holding it on, and you just uh, unclip it and pull it out. I used a screwdriver. Okay, now this whole thing should be able to just lift out. Perfect. Here's the old bowl and the new bowl sitting side by side. And uh, these are the hoses that I bought. Um, unfortunately, I got two of the same ones. But uh, the good thing is that I got the hardest one to get to. So it's the bottom one there. And you should definitely replace that when you have the bowl out. Because it's impossible to get to. Um, once it's installed, uh, that the one that I'm pointing at there is is really easy to do once it's in the truck, so it's not a big deal. Here I'm realizing that the uh, the connectors are different. Yeah, and I'm I'm comparing them there. See, one's got plastic wings on the side, and the other one's got a metal clip. Turns out that they both plug in the same, so you don't have to worry about that. Now you can go ahead and get that fuel bowl back in. And so you can kind of tip it towards the firewall and get the bottom fuel hose started first. Um, and then once that bottom fuel hose is on the fuel pump, you should tighten down the clamps. Then you tip the fuel bowl the other direction and you can get that um, the fuel drain tube on. Um, and one thing I forgot to say is you have to get that IPR connector connected first before you get the fuel bowl in because it's uh, really hard to get to. So connect that first thing, then start with the fuel lines. There you can see the bottom hose is on and clamped down. And I'm ready to put the top hose on. There's the drain hose clamped on. At this point, you still want to leave the fuel bowl loose. Here you can see me struggling with that top hose and just trying to get it back on there. I think just because it was a used hose, uh, it was more difficult, but I got it. So everything's back in, got these lines in, I tightened up the fuel drain line, got my sensor, my pressure sensor plugged in. I trimmed back this hose because it was all cracked and broken and clamped it down tight. Top hose is on, but I still have to replace it. Bottom hose is on and these two mounting bolts are tight so it's it's good and in there I'm gonna put my Y pipe back in and uh, yeah we're gonna start it up and check for leaks okay you're gonna start up now you check for leaks for me please
hard to build fuel pressure, but now it's uh, a really stable fuel pressure, not like before. Um, it seems like that's fixed. 